Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about organization of chromatin. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. Uh, so first of all, what is chromatin? Simply, chromatin is the material of chromosome. But we use the term chromatin in case of eukaryotic only. In bacteria, we don't use the term chromatin. So there are three levels of organization of chromatin in the chromosome. First one is nucleosome. Second one is 30 nanometer chromatin fiber. And third one is higher level of DNA packing. So we will talk about them one by one. First, let's talk about nucleosome. Okay, so why this organization is required? Actually, our nucleus is very small. Its diameter is only about few micrometer. And the DNA is very long, right? So, how will you pack such a long DNA in this small nucleus? So, in order to pack it, you have to make it compact. This is the aim of chromatin organization. Now, nucleosome is the first level of packing. Here, DNA binds with some proteins. Those proteins are called histone proteins and those are positively charged proteins. Let's see here. So this red thread is DNA and you can see that this DNA is bound with some protein and these are histone proteins actually and one single unit of this is called nucleosome. So if I zoom one nucleosome, you can find this structure. Okay? Okay. So, these histone proteins are positively charged. That means they are basic proteins. Because these proteins have lysine and arginine in much amount. Now, a single nucleosome contains 8 histone proteins. That means this one nucleosome, it has eight histone proteins. Two molecules of H2A, two molecules of H2B, two molecules of H3 and two molecules of H4. So this H2A, H2B, H3 and H4, these all are histone proteins. And this nucleosome contains 200 base pairs of DNA. That is this one, this red one, red DNA is packed in this nucleosome. Now the positively charged groups of histone proteins bind to the negatively charged phosphate groups of DNA. That is the advantage of the basic proteins because they are positively charged and we know that the DNA is negatively charged because of the phosphate group. So there is the strong interaction between them. Now each nucleosome is a disc shaped particle just like this and it has diameter 11 nanometer and the length is 5.7 nanometer. Okay now the nucleosome is the repeating unit of chromatin and gives chromatin a beads on string appearance in the electron micrographs. So if you observe this structure under electron micrographs, you can see the bits on string appearance. And it is the repeating unit we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just like that nucleosomes are arranged in the chromosome. Now each nucleosome bead is separated from the next one by a region of linker or internucleosomal DNA. And that is 60 base pair. So, you can see here. Uh, this is the region. This is the region that is found between two nucleosomes. 
that is called the linker region and that is also called as internucleosomal DNA. This structure contains only 60 base pairs DNA and in this region you will get one more type of histone protein that is H1. So in this linker here you will get H1 type of histone protein. Okay, so if I zoom one nucleosome, we can find this. This is the nucleosome structure. This is the DNA. This red one is the DNA. It is bound with the histone octamer. In this histone octamer, you will get two molecules of H2A, two molecules of H2B, two molecules of H3 and two molecules of H4. And here we have the linker region and that linker region is bound with one more protein that is H1 histone. Okay. Next is 30 nanometer chromatin fiber. So this is the second level of packing and this is also called solenoid structure. So let's see the diagram. Okay. So this is the 30 nanometer chromatin fiber. Here actually nucleosomes are even folded into a more compact structure so that DNA becomes more compacted. Here every time six nucleosomes are very much closely associated just like this. You can see this. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, Six. We have six nucleosomes which are very much closely associated. Now how does it form? Actually the H1 molecules are responsible for that. Since two H1 molecules, suppose this is one H1 molecule and here this is one H1 molecule. So these two H1 molecules in the linker region flanking the nucleosome pull the nucleosome together and get closer. So this is the funda. Let's see the text. The 30 nanometer chromatin fiber consists of closely packed nucleosomes. It arises from the folding of nucleosome chain into a structure having six nucleosomes per turn. H1 molecules are responsible for packing nucleosomes into 30 nanometer fibers. H1 molecules interact with each other and pull the nucleosomes together. And the last one is higher level of DNA packing. So this is actually the highest level of packing. And this is found in the chromosomes at the metaphase stage of cell division. Here you can see This is the mitotic chromosome and if we zoom the picture we can find this that is more compacted form of nucleosomes. Uh, during metaphase 30 nanometer chromatin fibers become more and more condensed and they become compacted because now they are even more folded. These compact form makes the individual chromosome visible under microscope. Once the cells have divided, the chromosomes are uncoiled and can function again as chromatin. Okay, so this is all about today's lecture. Hope you understood the lecture. Thank you.